tomorrow. I have to be away from training. That's probably a big Cool. Our no objective will be over here. Yep. I love that. Arch region. These giant buildings are super annoying. <laughs> My guys don't all fly like yours. We'll do. What the score is each time, okay. and then when you do a priority, who won priority? It's hard to tell from over there. Cool. Are we live? Can they see this? Can they hear us? All right, cool. Just ten witches here. Okay, ten ghouls here. Objective, I guess. Okay, once again, welcome everybody to the Age of Sigmar live stream. Getting started on this game, our opponents are starting to set things up. Cody versus Anthony, and here in round four. They are going to be playing the Battle for the Past 2019 in the realm of Ugu. This is one of my favorite missions with its triangular deployment type. There is no hiding. All those objectives are out in the open. What do you think, Roger? You uh, you like this mission, or is it one of the ones that is a poo-poo for you? Oh, I, well, with the armies I have, the Stormcast, the Lizardmen, and Free Cities, I absolutely love this mission. Oh, yeah, I hear you. I hear you. I, I can port around, especially in Ugu. Uh, the right. Command, the command tray where you can just port around and so like with Seraphon you can do it like three times oh yeah I, that's nice I think I'm gonna put it on uh, the witch elves to be able to get the objective more yeah and, yeah but I don't know Fresh flesh eaters puts the hurting on people so. I was gonna say yeah but can can the witch elves withstand and stay alive after the flesh eater courts I think there's gonna be a lot of who gets the first strike going on here yes, yes. and I think we're up for a very bloody battle on this oh, yeah, table yeah. today I, I think the witch elves are gonna have to like really really push to get to those objectives i agree i agree uh, i myself also love the realm of shadow ugu with its uh it's bouncing around and all these shadow effects super fun so let's talk about some of the other stuff of course players will play with the most victory points at the end of the fifth battle round this is going to be a straight up who has the most objective points they win if one player has three points more than their opponent they get a major victory if the difference is less than three points, it's a minor victory. And of course, a tie is a tie. As we were just talking about, we have the Realmscape feature of the Shadow Realm. At the start of your hero phase, pick one friendly unit that has all of its models within six inches of any edge of the battlefield. You can remove that unit from the battlefield and set it up more than nine inches from enemy units with all of the models within six inches of a different edge of the battlefield. When the then roll a dice for each model you moved, on a one, the model being rolled for becomes lost in the shadows and is slain. The unit may not move in the subsequent movement phase. So very powerful, but on this other hand, if you're moving a horde, probably not a big deal. You go to jump that single character, oh, uh, you know, <laughs> at least once, one out of six, you're going to be losing all. him. <laughs> I know I've, I've lost myself some little Skaven characters I've tried to yep. jump around doing yep. that. 
And of course, as usual, we do have a battle plan secondary. This one is Line Breaker. You complete this secondary if you destroy more battle line units than your opponent. If you both destroy the same number, then the player that destroyed more points worth of battle line units scores this secondary. Okay? If that is also equal, then roll off. For the purposes of this secondary, a unit is considered destroyed by the opponent once the last model in that unit is slain for the first time for any reason. So even if you can bring something back, you lost those points. And that's what we're looking at here. Of course, we have the Realm Command, the Lord of Shadow. This is the one that lets you use the Realmscape feature a second time, but if you spend a command point, there's no chance of somebody coming right, off. Right. So if you were playing your Seraphon, you'd have like four teleports a turn on this. Right, right. Oh, uh, that'd be amazing. I, I, usually when I play him with the Seraphon on this one, I teleport just to teleport. Just, just because. It messes with yeah, people. It, it, it brings tension to the table. That it controls their movement. Like, you might not actually do anything. It's like the Skaven Nahols. I put them out there. I'm never going to touch it. But it's sitting in your backfield. You're worried about it the whole game. Oh, yeah. It's one more yeah. stress I put on my opponent, and that's how you do it. You build the stress, what? and you break them, and you win. <laughs> Be able to teleport two Basilodons onto, onto an objective and say, okay, come get it. Yeah, come get it. Yeah, yeah. taste this. Yeah, Yeah. Fine. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay, I'm going to give you this back to the like player. really exciting game. I think so. So, real excited. We're going to get back to the player mics, and we'll touch in a little bit later. Hey, guys, you got the mic'd up? Awesome. You hear that? We're live? Yeah. Okay, I'll touch my fix stuff. All right, how do I want to do this? This one's got to go there. Can go to... Yeah. Right, smart move picking the sides by our tables. <laughs> So I have one wizard, but my Slaughter Queen can also do an unbind, so I have one cast with two unbinds. Okay. And uh, what kind of an unbind? Just normal? Straight. Just normal unbind, straight. Yep. Bar both four tiers, gonna go... That's it, you're all set up.
All right. So this guy right here is going to be nine from the corner. Room. Okay, so I took a minute to look a few things up here, and this I is going to be a second hag queen. queen. This is going to be down here by the Dusa. Pretty amazing game ahead of us, I think, Roger. Uh, I am looking at Mr. Anthony Lawrence here is currently ranked number four in the ITC. Probably has his eyes on the grand prize. He is also ranked number two in order and number one for Daughters of Cain. This is a top player. People watching on the stream, you will watch for some very tight gameplay. If you're a Daughters of Cain player, watch and learn what's happening today. On the other hand, Mr. Cody Quigley, currently number 25 in the ITC and the number two Flesh Eater Quartz player. He actually has his eye on being number one Flesh Eater Quartz by the end of the LVO, another top player. We basically have the top Flesh Eater Quartz player against the top Daughters of Cain player in the fourth round. This is going to be an amazing round, and there's the handshake. Let's see what happens. Let's, uh... Uh... Blessing and Catechism. So, I've got a command point. Just see that right there. Uh, I'll do the stuff that goes off automatically. Hag, uh, witch brew from this hag to the snakes. Okay. And then witch brew from the hag over here to the sisters of slaughter. Super unpredictable. You never can see that one coming. Uh, so then uh, we'll do our prayers. So we'll attempt to cast Blessing of Cain. Yeah. Uh, I have an artifact, Iron Circlet. Let's me reroll ones for prayers. Uh, so that goes off. I'll put that on the snakes. Uh, and then the hag right here is going to try to cast Catechism of Murder. Uh, that goes off. I'll put that in the snakes as well. Um, let's have the hag over here with the healing spell cast uh, this spell to turn the avatar on. Uh, so the avatar is active this turn. Uh, and then just in case, the Slaughter Queen will try to turn her uh, sword on. Uh, that's Cox. So I'll roll it again. Uh, no, she rerolls ones. Uh, so she has an active sword. Uh, I won't do any more risk taking mortal wounds, I'll just uh, do that. And then the last thing for. But all the snakes are pretty buffed up. What do we got? We got so, uh, so Witch Brew is yeah. um, auto pass Battle Shock okay. and reroll the wound. Okay. Um, Blessing of Cain is reroll Fanatical Fate Saves. Uh, Catechism of Murder is uh, sixes to hit, do an additional hit. Pretty good, pretty good. Yep. Uh, and then for my other cast, I'll attempt. You guys are like super fast. Uh, I'll attempt. Do I want to do bridge? I think I do. I'll attempt to cast Bridge of Shadow. Yep. Uh, no, I don't think that's enough. So, um, cast, prayer, 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 prayer. All right, so that's it for uh, Hero Phase. So I'll go to movement. Uh, let's run the front unit of Witches. Okay. Uh, three, so nine. I don't think is going to be enough to get over here. Uh, so I'll spend my command point to make that a six. Uh, I, want, I want to get some points at the start here. Um, so. There. How many command points are you at now? Uh, none. None? Let's see if I can. I can't do this. Yeah. 
may not be able to have enough models to do this. It looks like I'm not going to have enough. Just have to pick one. I think I'm going to go with... Uh, this side. go over this way. Right. Uh, we'll run the snakes. Three. So they're go they're moving eleven. Here. So now that we have a little more noise in the background, I just want you guys to keep your voice level. Speak up. up. Yep, got it. Cody. Okay. Uh, How many in that unit again? 20. 20. Two zero. It's one more. Oh. Thank you. Uh, so I'm just going to. Okay, so let's run the uh, cauldron. So that's going to move nine. So I'm going to get in front to that there. Plenty of movement for me. We'll run the hag queen. Nine as well. I should slide you right in nicely in here. What's the uh, bravery of uh, some of the units? So uh, these are bravery seven. Uh, while they're within nine of the cauldron, they get plus one bravery. Okay. These are eight plus one to nine. Okay. Um, the characters, I believe these guys are eight up to nine, and this is, uh, I think, nine up to ten. Okay, thank you. Yep. Uh, I'll run the Medusa. Two. Uh, I'm taking one inch up, one inch back down. Okay. So uh, she'll go a total of eight inches. Okay. Let's uh, run these Sisters of Slaughter. Ten, so they're going 10. So 8 after the loss of movement. Should still put me right where I want to be. Oh, shit. My bad. Slide up here. Let's get all of them over. That's the important part. Run this hag queen because why not? There. We'll run this unit of uh, chariots. One, two, so they're going to go 14. We'll run these chariots as well. guys are wholly within six in the back here uh, and that's it I'm done okay. so I'll score uh, two three points okay uh, start of my hero phase I rolled to see if I generate a command point I don't okay uh, I'm sitting at two one for a battalion and one for starting And then, uh, 
starting with spells. So okay. the uh, terror guys, they give themselves a pilot shrug. Uh, see if it goes off on a five. I have my work girl on my phone, sure. so we'll be checking out. Yeah, yes. Uh, so this is bottom of one. Uh, uh, three, two, and one. Casting value of six. This is my one. Moving on to uh, the arch region. So it's going to give the. Uh... You can roll first and pick target after if you want yeah. to. Um, the uh, multi attacks. Okay. And then that go off. Okay. Um, Yikes. <laughs> Let that one it'll, it'll turn around though. The, yeah. the dice always get you back. Okay, this game's off to a good start. After yeah, the fine. top of well, one, we right. have then, Anthony uh, with three points on the table. The Cody beginning his turn now. Uh, Yikes. Damn. These dice are no good. <laughs> um, they, they're probably on, rigged for the on, casino, right? Yeah. <laughs> moving on to uh, a Born Cool King on foot. Okay. Who's going to give. Uh, One extra attack to the chariot. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so I get a free movement in the hero phase. Yep. And I'm going to choose uh, these ghouls here. Sounds good. So they are within 16 of the bar ghouls, so they get to make a move in the hero phase. And it's the uh, 20 man unit cool. who's in the squad. If you're going straight into the movement phase after this, I don't mind if you do both their moves at the same time. Okay. Just if you want to do that. If you have other stuff to do in the hero phase, obviously, you know. Uh, let me take a quick pause. Welcome to continue. <laughs> there have been some questions in the chat regarding the pairings. Um, one thing that should be noted is uh, Scott Reed, the TO of this event, uh, he takes a very active control over his packet and how the tournament goes out. And one of the nice things with the Best Coast Pairings app is we can actually control a lot of details about what happens. We as TOs control a lot of details of what happens as far as the pairing so what Scott has actually chosen is that after people are ranked by wins and losses within that win loss bracket pairings will be random so it is possible in this case you know the the number one player to play the number four player and other similar types of things uh, like that so that is why we see what we see Is it, uh, is it good if I do a sponsor call out? Or, uh... You are welcome to, and then during the interview, we have a free ring. Awesome. Just want to do a quick uh, call out to our sponsor. It's Gentleman Gaming. Our sponsor is 3D6 War Gaming. They make these, they make uh, acrylic things like this. So if you're interested, you know, go find them online, 3D6 War Gaming. Yeah, we, we can't switch the map, though. No, that's fine. I'm not, I'm not worried about that. Yeah, yeah, I'm not worried about that. Sounds good. So they're move six? Yeah. So 11. Oh, six eight becomes oh, okay. So they get bonuses 13. to run and stuff. Yeah, okay. So they're super fast. Nice. Oh, right. Because you're playing Buster Skin. Yeah, 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 yeah. All your stuff is wicked fast. Do you normally play uh, Crucible or anything like that? I've seen a lot of stuff. One of, my, one of our teammates is running Buster Skin. Another one is running Feast Day. So um, I've seen some of the different stuff. Yeah, I used to play uh, Feast Day when I first started <coughs> yeah. playing uh, Flesh Eaters. And, uh, I, lo I love the free command points, and it's just a ton of uh, a ton of value, you know. But yeah, but the speed it's uh, it gives you a ton of toolbox options to really play the board, and uh, yeah. a really good player can pilot um, Buster Skin to to really good results. So. Um, I, I definitely like that too. On the arch region, we're going to move up. Here. And these players are going to come up to. 
They have 14 inch moves, but I'm not worried about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that a different model? Or is yeah, that the actual? That's a, my Bargold conversion. He looks awesome. I love Thank it. You. I love it. All right, so that is the movement phase. Sure. Um, on to shooting, nothing is within uh, range. Yep, or there's... not on to shooting, I will do his summoning. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. no problem. He's going to do it for free. He's right there. He's going to bring in 10 moves. Guys, Sounds good. Wherever you need to. Feel free to slide my stuff if it's in the way. was a nine inch stick here. This helps. Thank you. Yep. Uh, their bravery seven. Uh, seven. Yep. All right. So, uh, and then let's see how many guys are within ten. I leave my pit vendor somewhere. Right there in front of you. Oh, it's a uh, ten inch range. Yeah, ten inch range. Probably right. just me. Just the one looks like. Yeah. Yep, just the one. All right. So anything over nine will be a more wound that unit back there. Yep. And any six. Sure. All right. So on to charges. Woo! Charge the nine players back there. Sounds the, good. Uh, nine wow, these dice are really not loving you right now. No. Although realistically, the turn to fail all your stuff is turn one. If they turn back and get you everything later, yeah, you know, that'll do. So let's see how so it goes. That is going to conclude my charges. So I pick up uh, five. Five. And, uh, End of turn one. Uh, scores. Uh, uh, five, five, yeah, five to three in favor of uh, Cody. Awesome. Okay. okay, so initiative roll. Okay, here we have round two initiative. All right. Now the big question is: Anthony do wins I want in that initiative, it? and he keeps it and takes it. Sure, what I want to do. The long charge here. If I do well. I think I'm going to give you top. Top is fair. Uh, so I'm giving, I'm, I won the roll, I'm choosing to give Cody top. Okay. So starting off with the hero okay, page. Okay, called that wrong. Point. Looks like Anthony is giving uh, it over. Okay. So He's going to play two. for that double okay. turn. 
Um, on to spells. So we are going to attempt to cast more attacks with this uh, archery gem. Nope. Five again. Okay. Um, also going to attempt to cast the uh, the Horgat from that model, which goes off of boxcars. Okay. So this is that. The can't deny. So what does this do? This is the Horgas. It minuses bravery okay. uh, by two within six inches okay. and one within twelve. Okay. It comes out twelve and moves nine. Cool. So it is a predatory spell. Moves twelve in the land of death. Uh, we're in, we're in shadow. Yeah. That was the sand. Oh. Cool. So, moves nine. so minus two bravery within six inches okay. and one. But moving on to the uh, uh, aborted looking on foot, yes. Yep. Um, 20 front range, we're going to give the uh, carry guys uh, plus one attack. Uh, does not go off. Damn. And then, uh, Ouch. Also, uh, moving on to the carry guys now, he's going to give himself a five up stroke. Just barely goes off on a straight. I'll try to unbind. Is this your last spell? Yes. No. So, try to unbind. Uh, I didn't. I did. Okay. Right. Uh, I'm going to take a sec to see what I might do with my hero phase move. Sounds good. What's the attack uh, profile of... Uh, so, these guys, uh, the Sisters of Slaughter? Yeah. So they have two weapons. Uh, yeah. They have a knife and a whip. Yeah. So the knife is a single attack at one inch range. The whip is two attacks at two inch range. And they all have the same profile. Three up to hit, four up to wound, uh, dash rend, uh, one damage. Okay. And then you can do prayers on them, give them all kinds of... Right. So they, they have rerolls to wound right now from Witch Crew, and they're uh, immune to battle shot. Okay. All right. So I'm going to use my free... Hero phase move. Move the players. Actually, we'll use move the knight. Cool. Move nine. And I'll move seven. Sounds good. Cool. And then uh, starting the move phase. I'll grab a couple more though. Yeah, it's a bunch of movement aids here if you uh, if you're looking for something. So. Thank you. Woo, fast boys. So assume you want to be three away. We'll yeah. just move this. Make this easier for you. <laughs> Guys, fly up to 17 inches. So, you just want to measure from the back if that's any easier, just uh, see where the back of your base is going to end up. Just make sure you've got room. Yeah, it looks like you should have plenty of room to get where you want. It's going to end up in here ish somewhere. Yeah. yeah. We just gotta make sure that you've got room on, over here as well. Yeah. So it's it's like there, something like that. Yeah, so I'll put him. Yep, that looks perfect. Yes, perfect. Okay. Um the Bargle's going to move up.
That's good. Sounds good. Fast Boys. Eight becomes 14. I haven't taken my second turn. Yeah. So, we'll do some shooting. So, now at minus two, what is the bravery of this unit here in front? They're six now. They're six now. Yep. So, anything over eight is going to be a mortal wound. Okay. So, the first guy is going to be one mortal wound. Okay. Uh, I'll roll them all together. Okay. Second turn, uh, second one, nothing. Third one, nothing. Fourth one, nothing. Fifth one, uh, it's going to be. Six exactly, so nothing. Yeah. And then the last one. So one mortal wound to get a five up to save it. No, I do not. Okay. And then uh, the terror guy is going to use his shooting. Same target. Yeah. And his is different. It'll be six plus whatever it is. So yes. Dice okay. are horrible. I really want to use my dice. <laughs> um, it's too bad. Uh, superstition, but man. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. And then they over there. So. Yep. What's up? First guy, uh, they're not going to be any minuses with their bravery. Uh, their bravery seven. Okay. So anything over no. the first one, nothing. Second one, nothing. And then the last one. Uh, so two. Two. Uh, and they're out of range for my uh, general, so they're just getting six ups. Okay. Uh, no. Two closest ones. That's smart. That's smart. Should have thought of that. Um, all right. So on to charges. Sounds good. Um, Start with the this is where we hope knights. that that your uh, your dice don't decide to keep rolling right. ones. Yeah. yeah. So the uh, knights. So six. Should be funny to get at least to them. Yeah. So you have a six and six. I do. Yes. Okay. Looking good. These rules here. Five. five should be plenty. Yeah. That's good. So the back ones even can get. Oops, sorry. Yeah, we get them into it. Yep, so. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Looks good to me. Five man, uh, six man player unit. Uh, for six. Six, Five cool. Right. Okay. You can use your six and six. Oh, yeah. You get a pile eventually anyway, so yeah. I'm not super worried and, uh, about you getting all, or not getting attacked. For eight, which is, you need it to Uh, I don't. There you go. I'm gonna put him right here. Awesome. Then I need to create six. I need to Did you get it? Yeah, I tag him, but when I proceed to pile in after I, I'm assuming, knock out this unit, I wouldn't be able to move away from this one, would I? Uh, no, you can stay the same distance, though, so you could theoretically slide this way, like stand up on the terrain as long as you stay this 
half half inchish away from okay. them. Oh yeah, um, it's terrain rolls. Yeah, well, yeah, because you fly. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's that's kind of what the game plan is going to be. Um, they ran our precincts there. Uh, Vargulf there. We have plenty of heroes within twelve of me, except for my left flank and back flank. Um, all right. So uh, yeah, the beginning of combat, we're going to go with the terror guy. Sounds good. Uh, Ma attacks onto the uh, snakes. Here. Yep. Yep. So these are misses. Yep. Uh, two hits. hits. Seems good. Uh, Cocked eye, yep. So that's a wound. And then, uh, uh, Ren so two. Ren two, yep. So a uh, six up save. Nope. Damage. Damage for four. So I get a five up shrug. I'll pass two. And I'll reroll my fanatical for a blessing of king. Uh, I'll pass another, so I'll take a wound. Uh, let me grab a wound marker. So they are two wounds each. Okay. Right. And then uh, going on to spell four paws, which are on a four up, three up. Two. So those are two at neg one. All right, so five ups. Nope. Two each. Oh, D3. Uh, so three five total. And five total. Okay. So I'll have a five up shrug. Pass two. And then blessing allows me to reroll. I'll pass two more, so I'll take a wound. There's a guy. And then, um, yeah. They're immune to battle shock, so I'm just going to. Okay. Uh, three up, three up. Uh, two. two at neg one, one damage. Right. So uh, fives. And try again for fanatical. Uh, they're good. Okay. Uh, CP to attack again with him. And that's immediate, right? Minute. Yeah. So I am uh, down to one. One. There we go. So six mortal wounds. Yep. Rolling these. So and another hit. And a wound. Okay, so next. six up save. Nope. And then damage for five. Okay. So six five. mortals and five damage. Okay. So uh, five up shrugs. Uh, block two. We're rolling. Block two more. So it was one, two, three models and a wound. Okay. And then uh, four turn on the fang. Four up, three up. Or uh, skeleton claws. Three up. So two. And then one. Two at round one, five ups. Nope. Damage for four. four. Fives. Nope. Fives. That's a fun cock die, right? So oh, three up, three up. So four, make one, one damage. Okay. Fives. Five. Good. It came up pretty even for me. That's pretty much how this goes. Uh, and so that's your activation? Yep. So I'll swing with the snakes. Get me within one. One. Actually, do you mind if I pull these two instead of two over here? Yeah. I won't be able to get them in anyway. Okay. So uh, these three will put all their attacks on him. Oh, I forgot to charge. Uh, go for it. You want to do it? Yeah, go for it. Thank you. No problem. Uh, cocked? Cocked, yep. Six. I think will be enough. Yep, plenty. Okay. You can file them in there. Over there. Yeah, yeah. I'll start counting up dice and you go ahead and move them. Okay. Um, so this is ten. Okay, so this is against the Terror Geist. Uh, these are the crystal touches. They hit on fours. Minus one to hit. Uh, five. So one mortal. Okay. Uh, six up. Right. Did I save? You good? Okay. Uh, <coughs> these are the rest. Uh, minus one to hit, so they'll hit on fours. Yep. Uh, sixes are a bonus hit, so five hits total. Wound on threes. Rerolling for Witch Brew. So there's uh, four at minus one. Okay. Four minus one. Five up. Five up. Ooh, nice. And then damage? Uh, just one. So death save. Okay. Oh, it takes two. He's taking two. Six, seven on the flares. So six. So the leader gets plus one to hit, so yep. she hits on threes. The rest are fours. 
So this is one, two, three, four mortals on the flares. Okay. Four death things. I lose a flare. Okay. Yeah, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. So one, two, three, four. Anyway. And no minus one to hit, that's just from the Griff feather, yeah, right? Yeah, it's the Griff feather. So, uh, threes to hit. Ew. Look at all those ones and twos. It's okay. Dice will get me back later. Um, wound on threes. Three roll for Witch Brew. So we've got, uh, looks like eight minus ones on the players. Eight minus ones, they have a six step. One damage each. One damage each. So we have a uh, six-step death save. Oh. Lose another one, and one is taken to the oh. right. So one, two, three, four on the horse. Uh, so this is three mortals on the horse. Yep. And then I get no death save over there. So one is taken for you. Okay, so now we've got some sixes. So one, two, three, four extra hits. Okay. Moving on threes. Rerolling for Witch Brew. So this will be, looks like five, 10, 11 minus ones on the horse. 11 minus ones. Two, four. Eleven sixes. Nice. So that kills the... Kills the one. Another <coughs> one guy with one moon left. So you're counting yeah, the um, wounds taken? I, yeah, I reached for like the closest one. Kind of yeah, that's fine. You want to leave him on? Yeah, yeah I'm going to come with that. There you go. Oops, and then, yeah, counting on the Sounds good. That's my attacks. Oh, I lost some pile in space. Yeah. Well. Right, I'm gonna swing with the uh, flares. Sounds good. So they get four attacks each. Uh, what are they targeting? We're gonna target the uh, first green guys and then hopefully pile the, in. the front squad. Yeah. Okay. There's four guys left. Uh, cut off the dice. Oh yeah, absolutely. Leader gets plus one. So weird sharing dice, right? Usually you just have your own pool and you. And they're shitty dice. It's going to get really annoying once all these Sisters of Slaughter get in and I have this like massive pile of casino dice. <laughs> so, three Good. mortals so far. Okay. And then two, four, six, seven, neg one, one damage save. Okay, so uh, they have... Uh, Six up base save, plus one for shields, plus one for cauldron aura, so they're fours, minus one from your end is fives. Uh, sixes will do a mortal wound back to you. Uh, so two mortal wounds back, and then these yeah. five go through. Two death saves, I fail it. So. Okay. so then this is the five that went through, plus the three yeah. mortal wounds, saving on fives. I will block two, I'll take six. Two. Spending a CP, <coughs> leaving me at zero. So okay. you pile in and attack the snake. Sounds good. Only four guys now, or three guys, and maybe a plus one. Just a little heads up to everybody, we are only going to be streaming two games today, as there are only two games being played. And then tomorrow, we're, first stream is going to be a game from the doubles tournament. And then after that, we're going to catch the last two rounds of the championships. Three mortals. Uh, and then I'll uh, fanatical faith them on fives. Block one, re-roll for blessing. Uh, block two more, so I'll lose one more. And I think this one, so I'll give myself more room. Uh, and then that was their second attack, so it's my activation. I'll do these three witches. Yep. Try to uh, see if I can kill this guy. 
One, two. Uh, unit leader's dead, so uh, hitting on threes. Uh, wounding on fours. Uh, just one wound and no rend. Okay, one wound and no rend on, uh, here. on this guy. Takes it. Uh, uh, he's no death save. Range of a death save. Good job, witches. Now you're going to run off the board, but good job anyway. Okay, so uh, ghouls are left. Yep. Uh, I got one right here. Yeah. So uh, this guy's definitely going to get in. Yeah. And one more, I think. Yeah. And then the rest. Do you, where do you, do you want him anywhere in particular? Yeah, I'll let you do it. Yeah. <laughs> Cool. Like, uh, so you've got uh, one, well, no, I guess he can touch them, so he could attack over if he wants. This guy's going to have to swing here, this guy's going to have to swing here, and then this guy's going to have to swing there. Every These guys in the front have the choice. Okay. So you've got two two on the uh, you got two on the witches and okay. one on the snakes. On the okay. And everything else on the snakes? And everything else. So one on the witch. Okay, so no rent. So four up save. Uh, they're good. And, and then how many are we got? So it should be uh, four and one, so five. And I with an 18 of three Holy? Yeah, it's a holy. Oh, yeah, this guy's out. Oh, well, actually, from overhead. I think it's good. Call it good. We're going to reroll one. Cool. Nice. Rural one's doing work. <laughs> four. Four on six, no rent. Got it. So uh, four up saves. Block two. Uh, five up uh, fanatical. Uh, Cock die. And then uh, reroll for blessing. Uh, block one, take one. So I will take one off uh, this. All right. Uh, pile my sisters of slaughter. Yeah. Actually, geez, I'll do this. Yeah. <laughs> Just looking over here, I was like, oh, actually. Well, you're all going to get to attack anyway, so I might as well. That's not going to get close enough. Okay. So, two guys, they're not in range of a hero. So, just two attacks each, hitting on threes. Moving on force. So two, no rend. Two pilot. Oh, uh, you care which one? No. Cool. And then I'll swing back over there. Seems good. Leader so gets plus one. Four. Right. Ah, okay. Like a three man unit has more than a entire mob. <laughs> yeah, right. Classic dice. Never coming to Vegas again. <laughs> uh, so five, five saves. Five, well, yeah, five mortals and four neg ones. Uh, looks like I'm out of cauldron range, so it's going to be a five up save, and you have minus one. All right, so uh, just straight sixes, but if I do get sixes, they'll do a mortal back. Uh, so one mortal back. Okay. And then, so four and five. Yep. Uh, looking for six up saves here. Uh, make one, the whole unit's dead, right? Two, four, six, eight. Yep. Okay. So, battle shot? Oh no, I gotta still do my big unit. So I'm going to take two guys here, yeah. take an extra inch up of movement, and stand up on the side here. So I basically get two extra guys to swing, and then... Sorry? Oh, this die? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. So what's the deal with them now? So they're standing up here on this piece of terrain. Okay, do they fly? No, but they have to spend movement to get up there. Okay. Since they have six inches of movement, they can get up. Uh, and then... 
because they have two inch reach on some of their weapons. I might as well get a few extra here. And then I think it's just going to be however many fit. It's not going to be a ton. Using those wonky AOS terrain rules. Yeah. There's uh, parts of it that are great and parts of it that are not so great. The, the really good part of it is that there's no such thing as an untouchable unit. So like you can't just be like, oh, my devastators are here. You can't charge them because there's no room for you to put models. Now you yeah. can just be like, I'll stand right here and fight you. That's the good part of it. Uh, the wonky part of it is some of the stuff that happens with uh, guys with fly where they can stand on the side of buildings and do weird stuff. But so that's uh, what you said. She was going to stand on her side. This was going to, yeah, they're going to stand on the side. That's why I'm saying they don't have so How are they doing? No. You can always walk up the side of buildings. So like yeah. a regular unit hit with a normal movement can walk up the side of the building, but you have to pay the inches. With fly, you just run right up to it. You can oh, just go straight from here to up here in one. Yeah. Yeah. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So twelve that are within one. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. No. Twelve are within one. Yep. So I'm just gonna twelve and then second rank. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then eight. So this is sixteen and yep. thirty-six. So this is where I'm gonna need all the dice on the table, uh, except wound markers. So, 33. 11. So, another die. All right, so uh, unit leader hits on twos minus one because of Griff Feather. So, three is here. Okay. And that goes in this pool. And this should be 33 more. Hitting on fours. <laughs> All right. There's two more. Can you grab them in the? I like rolling them like this. The, those are uh, that's my eight to count how many uh, two attack guys I have. All right, so fours. That looks about average. And then sixteen more. Five, Ten. 16. These are also fours. Yep. That's it. Then we're going to wound on fours. We'll reroll for uh, Witch Brew. So this many with no rings. Okay. Throw them in your hand. Go. And then. Uh... I didn't roll it, it's probably about shrugs. He got it off, right? It's like the only spell I did. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I'll let you go back and do them. Yeah, so how much, what's the save? Uh, no rent. No rent. So I'm gonna pour up. Just pull out the hits here. Oh, and you can pull the, yeah, you can pull the misses off all the hits. Okay, so then these are all five up shrug. Okay. Five up shrug. Couple hits, and then six up death. So then you want to roll two more five of shrugs? That yeah. Uh, okay. So that goes back down. Yep. And then these two, four, four six, eight, eight more. Warhammer 40k player. Warhammer 40k player. 90 minutes left in the round. 90 right, minutes left Looks in good. The round. Um, that's all my attacks. Okay. Um, so they're immune to battle shock. They're immune to battle shock. These guys are still minus two, so they're yeah. bravery six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So they're going to lose one model plus the die roll. Um, their standard bearer is dead, so they don't get to use the standard bearer thing, which is to roll two dice, pick the yep. lower. Um, so they're all dead. Yep. And I have four, five. Yep. Oh, um, how many points was your list? Oh, it was uh, 1980. All right, so mine's 1970. Do you mind if I take my triumph? Go ahead. Uh, it is four. 
which I think is like immune to battle shock once or something. It's one of the less good ones. Yep. Try it. I yeah, have triumph. three. Immune to battle shock. Uh, all right, I'm gonna spend this, that trying to just keep these three guys. I don't see it really being useful any other time this yeah. game. Uh, well, convenient. <laughs> no, I'm gonna keep it. Okay. Because uh, I screwed up here, as you're about to see, and put my guys out of range to recast Witch Crew. So. Okay, so uh, the Witch Brew from her will go on the Cauldron, and then the Witch Brew from her will go on them. It's still down there somewhere. Uh, so then Prayers. Let's try to do Blessing of Cain. No. Okay. Uh, let's try to do Catechism of Murder. Yes. I'll put that on the snakes. Yep. All right, is that what I want? What's more important here? I think that's where that belongs. Okay. Um... Oh, uh, I get to swing with one chariot. <laughs> uh, watch out, watch how amazing these attacks are. Uh, the rider, fours and fours. One wound, no rend. And then the uh, uh, horses, fives and fours. Two wounds, no rend. So we got four up, uh, five up, and pick that. Okay. So I guess the horses and riders are okay if, the, for whatever reason, you guys just refuse this to save. They're okay with these guys. <laughs> Um, yeah, let's put this on them. Uh, let's uh, attempt to cast uh, Mind Razor. Yep. Uh, goes off on an 11. Okay. Uh, I'm not gonna deny that. It's my only spell. Oh, no, I'm cool. Uh, I'll put that on the snakes. Sorry. Uh, where is it? What does that one do? Uh, it gives me an additional minus one rend, and then this is the comical part. If my bravery is higher than yours, I get extra damage. <laughs> Never gonna happen against death. So, um, we're dead. How many wounds left on the Terrorgeist? Four. Four? Okay. So, I will spend my one command point that I just gained to use the Slaughter Queen to make the snakes fight now. Oh, is that one of the command abilities? That's her printed command ability. Yep. And she can only do it if she's your general. Um, normally, I don't like to take it because it forces you to put all your eggs in one basket, but it's really good against Bone Reapers. So, um, you basically have to consider how your army plays against Bone Reapers in this, uh, this meta. So, I'll just real quick do the two guys on the Terrorgeist. So, uh, their Crystal Touches hitting on fours. Sixes explode, so that's uh, four mortals. Four mortals? Yep. Okay. Going on... On this guy. Okay, so he's got five. Yep, so it blocks one. Okay, so he's got one left. Is that right? One left, yep. Okay. So then their regular attacks, hitting on threes. Uh, sorry, minus one to hit, so fours. Uh, okay, and then uh, threes to wound. Uh, one minus one. Oh, sorry, minus two now. So he's got a six up, uh, five up. That's good. Cool. Uh, then uh, the rest of the snakes. Two, three, four, five. Five crystal touches here, and yeah, we'll put everything else in there. So uh, five crystal touches yep. on the, uh, sorry, the leader hits on a three. No, the rest hit on fours. Uh, sixes explode, so this is five mortals. Okay. On the turn. On the, um, right, so five uh, so force picks up a model. And then five uh, actual sneak attacks. One, two, three. Four, and then the unit leader hits on twos. The rest hit on threes. Uh, sixes explodes, so that's two extra hits. Uh, threes to wounds. No reroll. This is uh, five, eight minus twos. Uh, flares. Okay, so just. Uh, so one left. Okay. Yep. Yeah, one left the way. Yep. Okay, and then the rest on the ghouls. So, uh, one, two. And then you'll be able to fight again with them in the combat phase. phase. Yep. Uh, so, five on the ghouls. Uh, crystal touches, hitting on fours. So, there's four mortals on the ghouls. Four, okay. And then their regular attacks. 
Any one threes. Sixes explode, so that's two extra hits. Uh, wounding on threes. No reroll. So uh, four, eight rend ones. On the goals? Yep. Seven One, die. Two, four, yep, seven. Two. That's the that's the unit. Okay. Okay. Uh, still in the uh, hero phase. I've yes. got um, some more prayers. I'll try to turn the avatar on. Uh, no, I'll try again with the um, one with the cup. Now the avatar is active, and then I'll do the um, uh, power up the sword with the hag queen. Or sorry, slaughter queen. So that's active as well. So. Do I have any wound markers on? I do. So she's going to attempt to do the heal prayer. Doesn't go off. Uh, cast that, that, that. I think we're good. All right. So uh, moving on to the movement phase. Yep. Unfortunately, these guys in the backfield are a problem. I really wanted to pick him up. What are you going to do? <laughs> uh, so, these guys are going to move. I think I have to deny these guys. What's their move? Their move is uh, 14. I could jump me, so I need to use... Use my bases. Probably good where they are. These guys are definitely good where they are. I want to retreat. I do. Right. Uh, I'm gonna retreat the Sisters of Slaughter. So here's my run roll. Two. You can retreat and run. Yes. Uh, that's uh no that's all Age of Sigmar. In uh, in 40k you can't retreat when you run. Uh, so it looks like I'm not gonna. Well, actually, so, uh, yep, I'll have enough room to get out just barely. So, oh, actually, yeah, that's fine. I have to do it this way. So, let me get me. Yeah. Can they retreat and charge? They can't, but they're eligible to pile from six inches, so they can just pile. All right, ladies. Whips are fun. Okay. So they're out. So they moved, they're stuck. That's going to move. Not that there's a ton of room. Let's move this hag queen. Uh, where's my tape? I'm losing stuff here. See my tape? Oh, there it is. Thanks. All right. Uh, it's 13 away. So it's going to be a 7-inch charge. You're good where you are. Looks like I am within three. So I would have been eligible to pile, but I don't think I could have gotten in range because there's so many guys in the way. Uh, I will choose not to retreat. 
just going to slide up. So I'm going to make my well, that's one, two, three, four. Uh, that's good. So shooting, we'll start with the, how do I want to do this? One wound left on this guy, just a death save. So, uh, no, she has to, she has to gaze there. So we'll shoot with the cauldron. We'll split our shots. We'll shoot three at the terror geist and three at the player. So three on the terror geist, hitting on, uh, fours because of the minus one, uh, wounding on threes. So two minus ones. Take five up. And then a five up? Yep. And then a six up. Yeah. Okay, so he blows up. D3 mortals. Yep. One. one. Uh, D3 mortals on the snakes. One. Okay. And then D3. they will be out because they had to retreat. Oh, okay. So they can't be within three. That's still in range. Alright. Uh, yeah, her. her two. two. Okay. So now I'll. So this, this one just takes it. That's not Daughters of Cain, so there's no special save. So, one wound on the chariots. Uh, I'll roll the one on the um, snakes. Do you want me to wait till you get back, or? Yeah. So one on the snakes. Uh, it's cocked. Yeah. Uh, nope. So they take one. Uh, and then uh, two on the Medusa. Uh, takes one. Okay. Um, the chariots will shoot. Yep. So I'm not sure that my, so the repeaters on the back one are out, but the harpoon is in. Repeaters and harpoons for the other two. So I'll uh, do the harpoons first. Yep. So uh, actually, you know what, let me see if, I have, if I'm within 10 here. Oh, oops, I had three more shots here. Uh, threes and threes, uh, re-rolling because I have witch brew. So uh, two minus ones. There's a great pick up. And then damage, uh, death stage. So then the, uh, at the ghouls, um, all right, just want to make sure that there's no way. Yeah, there's no way. So, uh, four regular, uh, harpoons hitting on threes. Uh, the sixes will be mortals instead. And then the, the other two, uh, they're D3 mortals. Um, D3 mortals. Yeah. So then, um, the other two attacks, also sixes. So, uh, roll the wound roll here. Uh, so that's one minus one. Okay, it's on the ghoul. On the ghouls, yep. Do they have us? Oh, yeah, breaks armor. Okay, so then I'll just roll this all together. Okay. They're all D three, so three, six, nine. Nine And then the repeaters. Yep. Uh, so repeaters from the uh, regular guy hit on fives. And then repeaters from the leader hit on fours. Everything wounds on fours. So two no rend. On the gold? Yep. Okay, one lives. And then death save. Good. Nice. Okay, and then over here. So two regular harpoons yep. hitting on threes. Uh, and then two hitting on twos. All right, so these will be mortals, these will be regular. Uh, so one wound minus one. We have six up. Good. Got it, nice. So two D3. So it's uh, five wound mortals. Um, so kills and then you're. One and one has... Kills one. Oh, and... One's already wounded. Yep, and then so... kills another, right? So it's five yeah, total. Yep. Right. So... Okay. And probably. then the repeaters. Um, so, uh, repeaters hitting on fives, nothing, and then the leader's one hits on fours, and wounds on fours, so one no rend. One no rend. It goes through. Okay. Whoop. Uh, that's out of range, this is ten. Yep. So, that's shooting. Yep, so charges. We'll, uh, attempt the seven inch charge with the hag queen. Yep. Uh, 11, so that will go. Uh, and then we'll attempt to charge with the snakes. Okay. Thank you, dice.
I should have still. Good, yes. Can I get there with this guy? Yes. Oh. Nope. I'm gonna lose a lot of guys. I can't pass through here, so what I'm gonna have to do is maintain coherency. Straight lines, shortest distance. Let's get within two. That's that. Uh, no more charges. So we'll activate with the uh, uh, Hag Queen. Yep. Four attacks, hitting on threes, wounding on threes. Uh, one Ren one. One Ren one. Uh, and it's just one damage that I forgot to turn her sword on. So. Oh, this is on the. Uh, this is on the ghouls. Yep. Oh yeah. So they, uh, it was, okay, uh, they just no lose a guy. So uh, do you care which guy? Yeah, in the back. So uh, she's done. Okay. So just the ghouls are in combat. Yeah. So island over there. Yep. So it looks like you've got two that can swing on this guy. Yeah. And the other two, four, six, seven, can go on the. On the two on the. the hag. Yep. Hag. For one. For one. Uh, I am still in range of the cauldron's uh, shield of blood, so I have a four up save. Nope, and then a six up uh, fanatical. Nope. nope. So she takes one. And then you said five on the snakes? Uh, two, four, six, seven. Seven. Up. Four? No rent? No rent. So uh, four up saves. You're good. Uh, so then I will activate the Sisters of Slaughter. Six in pile. And let's get these guardians out. side. Out of the way, oh, my snakes in a better pile. Answer is this one. This two. Four. Oops. Two, four, six. Eight, 10, 12, 14, and then one at two inch. Four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna do seven at a uh, yeah, seven at a time. So one, two, three, seven. So threes. Uh, and I'm just gonna roll the wounds too. It's simpler. Oops, two. Uh, re rolling. 
So it's like we've got seven so far. So I'll oh, just so I'll just mark oh, them. Yeah. So it's gonna be seven so far. I'll go. Do you want to roll them now? Yeah, might as well. I got it cool. on my hand. So uh, they break what's the AP? Uh, no rent. That's it. Six. Six, seven. Then I'll have the uh, unit leader and the guy at the extra. Actually, just add the guy with the extra range. So we're gonna roll this. If you wanna? I was, the t I yeah. I don't want to just do it without telling you I'm doing it. <laughs> Keep everything above board all the time. Um, threes to move. Move my objective marker. Oh yeah, it was. Uh, it's hard to stand on it, you know. <laughs> um, so you're uh, your uh, courts lady. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're all good. Yep. They're all. Oh yeah. They're all in, uh, no rend. Ooh, nice. Pretty good. Yeah, that's great. And then nice. Uh, and then the, I forgot to roll the leader, so twos and fours with a reroll, so two more. That much if I get them. Very convenient. Oh, oh, oh! Yeah, I got them. Right. And then, uh, so no one else on your side is locked, so I'll pile my snakes. Yeah. Right. So I should be able to do a full. Four crystal touches, unit leader is theirs. So Gonna start rolling. Okay. So uh, four crystal touches. We got, uh, so we got two mortals yep. on the ghouls, and they don't have a save, right? Yeah, so they just get rolled. Okay, so, so then standing over there. three, four, five guys. One, two, three, four, five. Hit, hitting on threes. Uh, sixes explode, so two bonus hits. Uh, wounding on threes with no reroll. So this is uh, five, ten, eleven rend ones. Eleven rend ones. So that's on the ghouls. Yeah. And then this guy back here is brave ten, so he doesn't have to worry about battle shock. Uh, so that's my turn. I'll score five. So uh, we're at end of turn two. Uh, Cody is up ten to eight. Ten to eight. So then uh, initiative. Yep. Six. Sorry, end of round. Yep. So he rolled a six. I rolled a two. So he'll. I scored five. Yep. Units can't run off board, can they? What do you mean? You can't just run a unit off the board and kill it. To kill it? Yeah. No. So technically, you could um, use the shadow command to jump across the board, and on a one, you'll die. That, but you have to be wholly within six at the start to do it. Thinking about a secondary or something, or an army objective. Uh, you, uh, this is the shallow round one. Yeah. You, you had an automatically without the command. Yeah. And if you do a command. You right, he's trying to find a way to kill his own guys, I think. Is that right? Yeah. So you, if you if you jump with the, without spending the command point on a one, you'll die. But you have to be wholly within six of the edge to use it. Yeah. Um, you're, a, you're really fast compared to me, though. So if you want to just, like, book it, you you can do that. Because if I completely kill myself, the game ends, essentially? Uh, yeah, but you still play all the remaining turns. Oh, you still do play yeah. all the remaining turns? All right, so it's yours. Yep. Um, we can pretty much talk it out and I'll have a beer. Yeah, I'm into um, it. I'll yeah. buy you one for sure. I always so buy yeah, my win. opponent's beer. All right. Uh, there's nothing I can do about it. I do you uh, have any of your army objectives or secondaries or anything? I have to have a unit in your, uh, your chip. My army one have a unit of three. So okay. there's no way I'm going to get... Uh, right. So the only thing left that I need to do is I need is to get... The, yep. Is the, uh, the... Is it... Invade, is it uh, one unit of three or three models? 
So if it has to be a unit with three or more models. Yeah, yeah, yeah if I can't get it. Okay. Um, uh, no, so actually, I, uh, I can. I, uh, oh, you can summon again. I CP to summon uh, so I get my army. Well, so I'm going to, if you're going to summon them, I'm going to try to shoot them. Because okay. denying them gets me a point, and I'm trying to match. So I'll put them uh, in that corner there. That corner? And then you try to shoot them. Yep. Um, so you won initiative, so you could do this first. Yep. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, who can shoot? These guys, those guys. 12 inch What's move. Their range? Uh, 18, so they've got a 30 inch threat. And it's turn three, so I'll have uh, three more turns to try to kill them. Oh, that's right. Well, then, yeah, you'll eventually get them. Okay. So, yeah, cool. I don't get it. Uh, the only thing left that I have to do is I gotta move this within six of this edge, spend yeah. a command point to jump over into your zone, and get secret, uh, secret mission. Alright. So. Good game, man. Yeah, so the, I mean, the, the big thing there was you basically did what daughters want you to do, which is come into their castle. Um, it's over, yep. We're done. So I've got my um, max score, 25 to 0. And we'll put it in BCP. Yeah, going into the Daughters of Cain castle is what they want you, what you, um, what you want to do there is you want to try to hang back and wait for me to fail Blessing and then you can actually get some work done because when they're re-rolling that five up, they're just so tough yeah. that you saw it. Like that Terra guy's fought twice and picked up. Too. Yeah, yeah, that hurt too. Sorry. That hurt a lot. Um, but yeah, it, I played Flesh Eaters earlier and yeah. We're gonna have you come over here. Over oh, here. okay. Cool. What's the name again? Anthony? Anthony. Good to meet you, man. Yeah, we'll definitely grab a beer after for sure. We're not on uh, camera or anything, so it's... Okay, everybody, we are back. What a great game. It came to a sudden end, but we know how it is. We got these deadly armies and top competitors out there. That is always going to be a hard, fast game, or it's going to be a grueling slog fest to the end. And this one was a hard, fast game. If you were watching that action, it was brutal, tight gameplay out there. Uh, Anthony and Cody, two seminal top players out there, knowing what they're doing, bringing the best of their faction to the table. Cody, tell me about your game. Yeah, so it was uh, it was a pretty rough start. I didn't uh, I didn't get off I think a single spell in like two turns. I think I had a five up shrug and that's about it. I'm used to playing pretty aggressive, and uh, Anthony played really well. His castles were up, all his prayers were up, and uh, it was really my mistake for just being too aggressive and trying to charge in while he's castled. And uh, I didn't do a whole lot, so his retaliation was very brutal. And uh, yeah, I, it pretty much after. Uh, was it turn two? I was I was pretty much done. So we uh, we, we were able to talk it out after three, and uh, it, fair, was, it fair. was definitely brutal. Daughters are intense. So you got your bloodlust up, you yeah. stuck it out in the wind, and you got it bit off. That's yeah. basically what comes on. Yep, yep. And that's why you got to keep your tongue in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony, looks like you had a great game, great win, great tournament so far. Tell me a little bit about your game. Yeah. So um, the, uh, the the one big thing that struck me right at the start of this is these giant. Um, pieces of terrain in the middle kind of screwed up where I wanted to put my chariots, but otherwise the rest of that setup is, is how you would usually do this when you're playing Hagnar Daughters. Um, the resiliency is so strong that as long as your prayers are up, um, you can basically absorb the charge from practically any unit in the game. Um, and so that's what I wanted him to do, come into me, lock his units with my snakes, and then I can activate them uh, 
once in his turn and then again in my hero phase and Absolutely. then a third time if I need to on my combat phase. Um, so that's the strategy that I'm trying to go for here is let him come into my uh, my castle and uh, fight my guys. Yes, so, yes, um, that's, that's it went the way I wanted it to go. Yep. Very nice, uh, very well played. Yep, so uh, I've got a few shout outs. Um, again, I'll uh, shout out our, uh, um, I'm on Gentleman Gaming. Our sponsor is 3D6 Wargaming. They make the uh, neoprene um, objective mats. They make uh, acrylic uh, movement uh, aids, things like that. Um, so check them out online. I, I don't know their um, URL off the top of my head, but if you Google them, I'm sure you'll find them. Awesome. Um, and then um, the other thing I want to promote is um, the Battleground Games and Hobbies in Saugus, Massachusetts. We are trying to run two GTs every year. Um, one of them is going to be in May. It's always the same weekend as the Kentucky Derby. Mm -hmm. That's a useful uh, reference point for you. Um, and then we're going to try to do uh, also what we're calling the Everwinter GT in um, December. So um, look out for those. If you want to add me on Facebook, Anthony Lawrence, I can um, send you the details for that stuff once we have Facebook events and stuff like that. So uh, feel free to reach out. Awesome. Awesome. Thanks for coming on, Anthony. Gentlemen, Wargaming, always a great club. Cody, great to have you. Awesome. It's all good, gentlemen. All right. yeah. uh, so I want to throw out there, you know, Team Chump Change, and uh, hopefully we'll see some of these viewers and anybody who's interested in going to the Cascadia Champs, formerly known as T-Shift. It's the uh, largest largest tournament on the Pacific Northwest there in uh, Bellevue, Washington. And uh, so, yeah, uh, we... Uh, it's definitely a major for 40k, and uh, we were a couple players shy for a major uh, for uh, AOS. So hopefully we get some more players for that. That's awesome. You know, that's real exciting here. Like more and more of these major 40k GTs are adding an AOS complement. You know, a few years ago you couldn't look around and find a game to play for AOS. Nowadays we have so many tournaments in every part of the country. If you haven't traveled to a tournament, if you're not going down and competing in those RTTs, go. Have fun. Like I always tell people, if you show up on Saturday for the RTT, it's just the same guys you played on Wednesday. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to yeah. have fun. You're yeah, going to enjoy yourself. BAO made it to GT last year. And... Absolutely. Yeah, Cody, how long have you been playing Age of Sigmar? Uh, so this is actually my first year uh, playing Age of Sigmar. My first real jumping into the tournament scene. I went to BAO, SoCal Open. Uh, yeah, so it was uh, definitely tons of learning experience. There's a lot of units out there. I don't quite know the full extent of what they do. And, uh, yeah, I had a great tournament here, so I'll definitely be at it again next year. Excellent. We'll year, see We're glad to see what happens. Of course, Anthony, always a champ every yep. year. Good luck for the rest of the season, you. sir. Thank You're you. right up there. I am. Fight, yep. Fighting for the champs. Yep. <laughs> okay, right on. Right, Thank awesome. you, everybody, Thanks and we'll be back with round two in about an hour.